we're not in my apartment. We're in my mom's brand new, beautiful kitchen. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Today we're making a really fun and festive Easter recipe. We're making pink deviled eggs. So if you'd like to see some more fun recipes, please subscribe to my channel, at Just Julia. So, to get started today, we need a few ingredients. The main thing is we need some really nice free-range eggs. We're gonna use about a dozen, or if you wanna double the recipe, of course use two dozen. Then we're going to have about a quarter cup of white vinegar, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, a few chives, about a quarter cup of mayonnaise, a little bit of sriracha, and then for the beet infusion, you need three beautiful, nice beets. To make this infusion, we're going to get our beets and peel them, and then we're going to quarter them and add them to a pot of cold water, and let that simmer for about 20 minutes, let it cool down, and then we're going to add our already boiled eggs. The beets have been boiling for about 20 minutes now, and I've cooled it, and then we're going to add our vinegar. So what the vinegar does is it really makes that beet juice super vibrant, and it's going to make those beautiful eggs a nice pink color. So we're going to add in our hard-boiled eggs into the marinade, but first we have to peel them and have a super easy technique. All you're going to do is tap it onto your cutting board, make sure you get the top and the bottom, and then have some running water, and you're just going to go in and gently peel that shell away, and the water really helps to make that shell come off super easy, and then you're left with a beautiful, smooth, hard-boiled egg. So we're going to do that with all the eggs. The eggs are going in the beet juice, and they're going to go into the fridge for about two to three hours, so that all that beet juice infuses into the egg whites. These have been resting for about three hours now. You're gonna see they transformed colors to this beautiful pink fuchsia. So the next step is we're going to slice each egg in half. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Take the yolks out from the whites and transfer it to a mixing bowl. But make sure you're very careful here because we want to make sure we keep the whites uh, intact because we're going to refill it back with the yolks. So try to get it as clean as you can. And then that's going to be filled up with our yolk mixture. So now for the filling, we have all of our yolks in the mixing bowl. We're going to add in our Dijon. I like using a nice spicy Dijon. Then we're going to add in our mayo, and then for a little bit of spice, our sriracha. And then for some freshness, I'm going to chop up some chives here. I'm going to save some chives though for a garnish at the end. I love serving these um, at Easter parties for a little amuse bouche. They're really cute to pass around to your guests, and they're the perfect brunch appetizer. So now we're going to mix this up. We're going to want to mush the yolks so that it gets to be a nice creamy texture. And don't forget to season, which is the most important part to any recipe. If you want to add a little bit more crunch to this, you can do some finely diced celery, which is really nice. But today I'm going to leave it out. I'm just going to make it nice and simple. You really want to make sure that you get a really nice creamy consistency for when we fill our whites. <laughs> to fill the whites back, I'm going to use a piping egg because I want a really nice clean look. You can use a spoon and just spoon it back into the, um, into the whites, but this makes it a lot easier and this goes a long way for presentation. So we're going to spoon our mixture into a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, you can use a Ziploc bag and just cut the corner off. I fitted this one with a star tip, just like that. 
but you can use any type of tip that you like. So we're gonna get everything in there. That sriracha gives the filling a really nice, almost like an orange color. So now we're ready to fill our whites. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our whites and we're just gonna do a little dollop, just like that. For final touch, we're going to do a little bit of a chive garnish. And I like doing two pieces just right on top, like that, the little cross. And then if some of your tips have gotten a little funky on you, you can just kind of press it down there. And for a last little garnish, we're gonna do a little sprinkle of paprika. These are looking pretty good. So guys, if you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep cooking.